This is the first time that I do this kind of more vlog style video, but I just thought it would be so exciting to bring you with me from the pro like part of not really knowing exactly how my project is gonna turn out until hopefully um, finishing something cool. So I just woke up from a nap and I had this epiphany that what if I would actually embroider something really cool on my t-shirt? The other day I saw um, this picture with somebody who was also pregnant and they had done a huge drawing on the belly and I just thought that was really beautiful. And I thought, what about doing that kind of thing in embroidery? So that's just sort of where my inspiration came from. So how to go about it? I'm thinking, I've got this white t-shirt here. I'm thinking about four steps of action. The first one is to just make my first a sketch of just how this baby design, <laughs> if I can say how the baby design is going to look like. Secondly is to do some sort of DIY way of measuring. I'm sure there's a way better way to measure, but I'm just gonna try to figure out where on my stomach to place the baby. <laughs> Thirdly, to transfer that original drawing and just redraw it on my t-shirt and four, to embroider it. Uh, fifth step, yes, fifth step is to wear it. All right, fifth step, I'm so happy. Like uneven steps, it feels much cooler. So we've got the five courses of action and I'm planning to bring you along a little bit just how I'm feeling as the project goes along. Let's go. If you feel that this is just a fun way of seeing actually how the creative process can go from just seeing an inspirational picture on Instagram like I just did and just to turn that into something, then be sure to subscribe and hit the like button because I think that is how the algorithms here work. Let's try this. Oh my god, this looks horrible. I think I have to get more papers. <laughs> ooh, ooh, no, 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 no. trials I decide to call it a quit and use the last one so here is the winner okay so where are we gonna place this baby here I think I'm going to use some needles to figure it out Okay, another check-in. In the aftermath, I think I would not recommend to use a regular pencil. I should have used maybe a friction pen or, or maybe even a water-soluble pen, but whenever I get this creative urge, <laughs> I just can't wait. I'm like super impatient, so I just use whatever I have at home. And at the moment, I had just these pencils. I decided to use a softer pencil, so this is a 6B, and it worked fine, but I won't be able to rub this off in the sense that I will have to embroider and cover it. I know that it will go off when I wash it in the washing machine later on, but um, just a little tip in case you feel like doing the same and you want to be able to make mistakes when you do this redrawal, if that's a word in English, I'm not sure, or redrawing maybe. Um, it's just that maybe a water-soluble pen or something like that can cover up your mistakes, but I'm not always that smart. A mixture of all of these is gonna make this t-shirt really pop. Before I can start the embroidery, it's banana time. Baby's kicking, baby's hungry.
I'm back. It's day two. I had to take a little break last night because it started to get really dark, obviously, as the night came along. So I've been sleeping on this and just thinking about all of these wonderful colors and this project all mornings. So I'm ready to get going. So I'm almost done and I just realized that what if our daughter doesn't like colors? Do you think she's gonna like feel bad about this being all super colorful? I don't know why I just started thinking about this but then at the same time as I've been embroidering on this I've been like imagining how her personality is gonna be like colorful and just crazy and, and then yeah it, it just hit me that what if she just loves gray? Technically, I'm gonna wear it, so I'm gonna continue with the colors. <laughs> I'm done and actually I'm really happy with how the result came out. I don't know about you but there was a point there in the middle where I was like oh my god how is this gonna be? Why did I film everything? Why did I just start this vlog idea? But to be honest I think most and not only embroidery projects, but most creative art projects, it's always like that. There's like a sweet spot where it starts to feel good again. And I think that arrives usually at like 75%. You're super hyped in the beginning. And then it just sort of like a curve downwards where you're just, oh, this is not looking good. And then it starts to pick up again. And I'm actually super hyped about the final result. And I decided to not care <laughs> if our daughter does not like colors or not because I love it and it makes me happy and I think that is really the thing about creating anything. It's just the whole process of creating it, the way it makes you feel and it's yeah, it's it's just the most rewarding process ever. So if you enjoyed to see this kind of more vlog style behind the scenes or work in progress video be sure to comment that below just let me know your thoughts give it a thumbs up and join us on this adventure and hopefully you will like it so i can do some more because i really enjoyed it see you